Somebody's from Bahamas in an island. Go on to heal Mama to walk yes, by yes, herself. Yes, yes. Amen. Jesus, come on. Jesus, out. My Jesus, my Jesus. Out, leave Mama. My Jesus, my Jesus. Leave, you leave Mama. My Jesus. Leave Mama. My Jesus. Let me touch you also. My Jesus. Even my you, Jesus. You Bahamas, you have got a demon. Jesus. Because this demon can enter my brother after church, come back to mama. They, normally, demons they play tricks. My if we don't Jesus. pray for this brother, this my demon that is causing sickness can enter him. Because we want to kill mama. We've got nothing to do with the brother. From there, come back to mama. Mama, you are here. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up and walk. Walk, Mama. Walk on your own. Walk on your own, Mama. Walk. Hallelujah. Walk with the head. Walk, Mama. I can see your head. Walk, walk. Just walk for the... I can see your head, Mama. You are going to be here. Amen. Is it the first time? <laughs> yes, sir. Huh? Yes, yeah, so she hasn't been able to walk like this in a long time. I can't hear you. She hasn't been able to walk like this by herself in a long time without the cane, but her shoulder, she can't move her upper arm. I can't hear your English. Her upper know. arm is... is <laughs> <laughs> you said, is it the first time? Yes, yes, for a oh, long yes. time without... It's for the for long time she couldn't without walk. Without the cane, yes, without support. For a long time, like how long? About a year now. About a year. Maybe You've for a year, a year now. Year. Yes, sir. Leave it down there. Leave it. Leave my mind. Or on the chair there. Even you, you are free. This, there's Amen. A, there's a demon in the stomach. The, here, in the stomach here. Here. There's a demon here. Here. Huh? Eh? Eh? What are you doing here? What are you doing to my brother? Huh? He cannot prosper. Huh? You say what? He cannot prosper. He cannot prosper. He cannot prosper. No. How do you block him? I close all his doors, his huh? ministry, his life, everything I close. You are blocking his ministry. Yes. This demon. Blocking the ministry of my brother. He Were you aware not. he's coming here? Yes, I tried to block him. You tried to block him, yeah. How he will not be like you. Huh? How did you try to block him? We made it difficult for the flights. Very hard for money to come. You, you were doing what? Yes. Oh, I caused stagnation. I want to see his face this time. When the demon is gone, I will see his face that is free. 
by his face. <laughs> Not when you are showing him here, his face. So you say what? What are you doing to him? I am blocking him. You he talk about the fly. Prosper. You talk yes. about the fly. Yes, I uh, blocked what? it. How? Three times he tried to book the flight, but missed it. You miss it? Yes. So, but you, you were blocking his ministry? Yes. Or you know his call? He is too called. He's too, huh? called. He's too called. He's too called. What are you doing to his stomach? This is who I am. That's where you are sitting. Who are you? <laughs> huh? <sighs> who are you? <laughs> Speak. <laughs> One. <laughs> two. Limitation. <laughs> huh? Limitation. <laughs> Limitation. Yes. So you are leaving Stand my brother. Sadness, whatever. Leave my brother in Jesus' name. Amen. Leave my brother. Leave my brother. Rise up. You are free. Because you are free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. You have done well to carry Mama here. Uh, I you have shown me your faith. That's why God will fight for you. You understand? And uh, Mama, from now, from tonight, she'll sleep well. Amen. To be honest, okay, you can sit down. You can sit down. You people sit down. To be honest with you, sometimes people from far, they're the ones who are telling us something. Sometimes. Okay, my name is Anthony Young. I'm a pastor and I'm from the Bahamas. Well, initially when I first um, started to watch Charis and uh, I was listening to Apostle Mark and Anisa and he's saying everyone needs deliverance and I realized that, hey, I need deliverance and I realized that in my life, every time I tried to progress, there would always be some sort of delay, some sort of closed doors or some I would get only so far and then there would be like this limitation to it i would never see the fullness to it and then also my mom started to get sick and then my two sisters died and it's like okay i got a promotion on the job but then the increase on in that promotion i haven't gotten as yet so it's like <laughs> a whole lot of obstacles even in terms of ministry um it was this fear of going into ministry um fully and doing what god has called me to do and it was this fear of of making a mistake well, um, it's, it, it, it's stupid, <laughs> I mean, because um, I can't get, for what I want to do, I want to get a house and do everything. I can't do anything because I'm waiting on a, a letter that shows my promotion and my confirmation on my job. And so if I don't get that, which means my whole life has just stopped, it's, you know, so <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> it, 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 it. <laughs> How can I begin to describe or explain? Um, physically, it affected me because I lost many nights of sleep due to having to attend to her or she's in pain and I'm up or having to be up checking up on her all the time. Spiritually, I don't have the, never had the time to actually invest. Every time, the time I had to spend with God, it was like all of that has been absorbed with trying to take care of my mom. Um, emotionally is like okay God um, it's putting a is, is taxing my body is taxing my spirit and is even taxing me on my 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 psyche and so I'm like okay God when are you going to deliver us from this I say us because not only is she being affected but it's also affecting me as well so yeah like first of all like finally because <laughs> at first she was like oh see him there and I'm like um just calm down he's coming and when he finally came to her and he prayed for her it was like god i can sleep now <laughs> yeah and so it was like more like she can get and be able to do for herself she can be able to focus on god now i can be able to focus on god she can be able to go back to church because it's very difficult for her to go to church due to the amount of pain that she had um even into when when she woke up this morning there was no complaint of any pain. She was able to walk and do everything as normal. She even slept through the entire night. I was waking up trying to see if she was okay, and I heard that <laughs> she's snoring, and I'm like, okay, this is good. So, 
<laughs> God really did it. <laughs> yes. It, for a long time, I, I knew that there was something wrong. But like I said, that's the reason why I came. I knew I needed deliverance. And so as while the man of God was praying for me, it was like God was just cleaning me out so that I can be represented to himself again and represented to his people to, that, I, that there can be a pure flow as I minister to his people and as I minister to him. Well, the first thing, the first thing is um, we have to be spirit-led and not led by what others say. Because one thing I know is as long as we are alive, somebody will always have something negative to say about us. And it is up to us as individuals to judge that person's character. And upon watching the videos and listening to the messages of holiness and watching how he would reprimand, for example, his sons, I'm like, okay, only a father who's walking upright would do this to his sons when they are walking astray. And so that is good character. And it is somebody, and then again, there are tons of results that are online. So how can you, I mean, you can argue whether the sun, the, the, the moon is white or blue. You can argue that. But the fact that it's wrong, it's obvious. It, the, the moon is wrong, although it has its alternate shapes, you know, due to the sun. But however, the sun is wrong. And Prof, Apostle Mark and Anisa, he's a man of God and the spirit of God in you have to speak and declare that and not the spirit of man, the spirit of God. Okay, first of all, as he began to open his mouth and just began to say, okay, you came here for impartation, you came for healing, you came because of the cry. There's a cry of your people. I'm like, okay, you are 100% correct, sir. <laughs> that is correct. And so being there, sitting in front, inches away rather than, you know, through the screen, it was like, it was a more, more impactful and it was something that I would never forget and I will definitely be back because I must give a testimony because <sighs> watching him is one thing. Being around him is another. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> I'm very dramatic. I'm sorry. Um, it was as if God just sat on me and said, I am here with you now. Especially when he said, um, you are blessed, you are anointed. And he, and he imparted onto me. And that's what I really came for. And when he said that, it was like I could, like this force pushed me. And I tried to stay standing, but to no avail. But it was like God sat on me and reaffirmed that he's here and that he's with me. I learned that repentance... Uh, the process to repentance is difficult and so as a result of that being difficult you don't want to go through it all over again so it's best to get it right before you sin think about the process you went through to get to where you were and to negate that sin and just walk in holiness and walk in purity avoid sin before scandal comes <laughs> i want to say you must come down the terrace because watching it you see the people falling out and being possessed on TV is different, but being live in person, you'd be like, hey, that lady was right behind me or that guy was right on the side of me. And, and so you must come because there's an atmosphere of miracles that you will carry when you leave this place. And there's a grace that follows you and that goes with you. When you come through these doors and you leave, you leave with that grace and that impartation to impact others. Well, if people believe that they... Well, first of all, I never was a believer that people would pay for because I've seen God do it. And for those people who believe that are people who never actually experienced the power of God. They are, they are ones that never, I, they've never experienced it and they've never done it. And so they question it and they have their doubts about it. So I would want to say to those who question that the miracles and thinking that these people, we are paid, people are here who've been healed and delivered, that they are paid to do that. I think if you walk in holiness, righteousness, and you receive the grace of God, you will also do what the man of God is doing and you will realize that it is real. And then people will talk about you. 